Okay, so what is retaliation under Title VII? Well, generally an employer cannot retaliate or take negative action against an employee for reporting um, or giving testimony or otherwise providing information about some discriminatory practice by the employer. So this generally protects the individual not only who makes a claim for discrimination, but uh, an individual who comes forth in support of or substantiating or providing evidence about a, um, a discriminatory practice by the employer or an, an example of, of discrimination within the uh, employment environment. Okay, so um, that brings up the question of, of what should uh, employers do in order to make certain that you don't have a retaliation action or you're not um, subject to a claim for retaliato retaliation against an employee or individual who, who supports or, or, or otherwise provides information about a, a discriminatory action. Well, first of all, you should treat every claim seriously. Okay, if there is any form of allegation, you should note it. You should take reasonable uh, steps to acquire any necessary information about that situation. That could mean taking a statement from an employee, uh, uh, asking other employees about it and documenting their responses, etc. Basically, it means following up thoroughly to document any uh, alleged action or conduct or, or trying to substantiate or, or figure out the, um, the, the specifics of whatever occurrence or, or action the individual is talking about. Okay, um, You should make sure that all of your managers or subordinate employees know about any company policies against discrimination, etc. This, um, this could be done through uh, equal employment uh, training, it could be done through individual uh, um, counseling of the employee. It could be done through providing literature to the employee that you make certain or, or uh, determine that they have read or uh, something like that. Some procedure in place to educate your employees so they know about the policies in, in place. Now, always uh, take the complainant's complaint seriously and follow up with them afterwards. Okay, let them know what you've done to address the situation or problem. Okay, because again, you need to demonstrate that you've given this uh, situation adequate consideration and that you've uh, attempted to find out the, the facts of the situation. Okay, now you should do whatever it takes to create an atmosphere where the complainant or anyone who's supporting a, a claim for discrimination, where they feel comfortable coming forward with any information that they feel comfortable um, coming to you or go through a specific channel to report um, any type of, of negative conduct. It could be uh, providing a direct line to a supervisor. It could be an anonymous reporting system where they can, uh, the employee can make an allegation uh, or provide information about it, an allegation anonymously. Um, any of these would be um, acceptable ways to allow the employee to um, report some type of harassment without fear that there could be some form of retaliation. And if an employee makes an allegation or provides information supporting an allegation, never take retaliatory action against that employee simply based upon that allegation. Okay. Now that doesn't prohibit retaliatory, I mean, or um, I guess punitive action against the employee in any context. Uh, um, the employee still has to meet the requirements of the job and, and um, are subject to the same rules as everyone else. But no negative action should be taken against that employee simply for reporting discriminatory activity or um, providing information in support of discriminatory um, activity within the employment environment. Okay?